and then all three of them at unison say, Uh, you get a new name! A new name? Well, yeah, or at least something else we can call you. I'd rather not call you a number, that's kind of lame. Oh, um, I guess so, sure. Hmm, what would be a good name? Hmm... Let me think... Well, you have brown hair, brown fur. Why don't we call you Garnet? No, you idiot! That's the name of the village. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, but it it makes sense. No, 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 no. That's too easy. That's too easy. Hmm. Well, your eye, eyes are purple. Uh, how about Violet? And then Ivy's like, Ugh, no, that's lame. Your guys are so unoriginal. Let's think. Huh. How about Misha? Misha? What? What is that? I don't know. Just popped up in my head. I like the name. Hmm. Very well. Then we'll call you Misha from now on. How's that? I like that. Awesome. Well, uh, lem uh, and then Yuri speaks. All right. Then let's uh reintroduce ourselves again. My name's Yuri. I'm Mango, and I'm Ivy. Nice to meet you. And my name is Misha. And uh, this day, you uh, create a, uh, a, a. This is the start of a wonderful friendship between you and uh, these three. And uh, after some time, you all play around, have some fun. Uh, but eventually, that fun must come to an end when uh, your mother uh, greets you. She's like, Child, it's time to leave. My mom needs me then. Uh, and then they uh, uh, they all start like waving by. It's like, nice to meet you, Misha. Nice to meet you. As uh, your mother brings you back over, and uh, brings you back to the house. What was it that those? What was it that those uh, children were calling you? Oh. Me. A new name? Uh, yeah. Your name yeah. is your name is twenty six. That is all. Okay. And then time eventually passes, and once more, once more, you find yourself. Back in the lab. As an unknown amount of time proceeds to pass like a quick flash. As test after test after test after test. At this point, you've lost count of how many. But no matter how many times they try, you cannot transform any more beyond the three, uh, beyond the three that uh, you first were able to transform into, and eventually, uh, and eventually, both of your parents are completely frustrated as your father bent, like uh, slams his paw against the uh, against the computer, <laughs> and you're able to make out uh, their conversation a bit as you uh, like inch yourself closer into the uh, uh, to the edge of the container uh, I don't get it we've always been able to I don't understand why it can't keep going it's always been so easy to trigger their evolutions into Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon but we haven't been able to do anything for the others at this point, they're going to cut our funding if we can't provide any new results. Ugh. Ugh. What are we doing? What are we doing wrong? Must be something we're missing. Well, it's clear that it's clear that this one won't uh, show any more any more promise. Be best to get rid of her. Yes. Although, unfortunately. Thought that socializing might improve, uh, sociability might improve her uh, abilities, but 
It did not. It might have actually jeopardized us. They've been... They've given her a name. Oh, great. Whatever. We'll just have any, uh... Anyone, any new ones just take that name. That it's a le uh, can't l let off any suspicions. <sighs> Very well. well. We'll get rid of the trash then. And then he presses a button, and then a strange gas proceeds to fill your container. And you start panicking as you don't know what is going on. But before, y and as you try to call out to your parents, you pass out. And then... Uh, let's see... One sec... You find, uh... You find yourself... Um... What was I gonna do? Um... Uh, you eventually find yourself. You hear something. And when you wake up, you find yourself all alone. Up along a coastline. You've seen images of these, but not for the first time ever. You actually see the sea. And you are covered in what you can only assume is sand or some, th uh, some other dirt-like su substance. But you look around and you see that you're all alone. Glass, you're cutting out still. Mom! Dad! Where did you go? Hello? Nothing. You don't hear anything. Mom! Dad! What are we doing? Nothing. And just as you start to wallow away and wonder just uh, what what's going on, I need to find them, but. Where did I even come from? Oh. I guess I just have to move forward. Hold on one sec. Um... Okay. Uh, right as uh, you're like thinking this, it begins to rain. Just great. I need to find some shelter. So you begin to walk around aimlessly along the coastline, and. It eventually start. You eventually start hearing thunder uh, and see flashes of lightning, and then eventually, after aimlessly walking around along the coast, you come across a rather intimidating image. You see a large uh, cliffside. At the top, a large shark-like structure. However, it is clear that this is 
obviously not naturally forming uh, in the land, so you think that maybe, just maybe, someone might be there. Oh, well, someone will be there to help me. Oh, oh, how to get there is the question. You see, get you see that leading towards it is like a long, a like large, like path of sorts uh, that uh, requires you to hike up to um, hike up all the way to the top of the of the cliffside. Hopefully, I'm not too tired to climb. And so you begin the climb, and it is very, very time consuming and energy consuming. You are pushing your. Your body is already very young and frail. And it is just being pushed to its limits as you keep going further and further. But you continue and eventually you reach the top and you are completely exhausted. But I made it. But who on earth would be here? But that, that doesn't matter. Hopefully they can help me. And just as you're about to take another step, you, ju your body completely fails you, and you just collapse. You can't move, no matter how much you try. And you feel your vision start to fade. As you proceed to pass out from exhaustion. But as you do, you manage to catch the glimpse of someone or something approaching. You see a Pokemon start to walk towards you. But before they reach you, your vision fades. then you wake up once again inside and you are wrapped up in a towel of sorts that has been keeping you warm well it is quite damp as it was required to dry you uh, keep you dry where... where am I? You're a long way from home, hey kid. And oh. you turn around be and behind you is an Absol. Yeah, I... I'm looking for my mom and dad. Hmm. Oh. Your parents. I take it they were both... Or at least one of them was... An EV, or at least their evolutions? Um, I want to think evolutions. One of them was, I think, black and yellow, and the other one was like a pinkish purple color. Yeah, Sumbreon and Espeon. Yeah, hmm. those are my parents. I'm trying to get back to them. Did you get lost from them? No. Um, the last thing I remember, I was in this thing, or capsule of some sort, and some gas came in, and I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was on that shore. And I don't know where they are now. As you're explaining this, the Absol's eyes start to, like, slowly shift into genuine concern. What are you... Oh, great. They... They... It couldn't... Then again. Oh, no. 
uh, forgive me. Um, we'll we'll discuss that in a bit. Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Calamity. What might no your name be, child? My, um, I my parents called me Number Twenty Six, but I, I guess you can call me Misha. It's what some friends of mine used to call me. Hmm. Friends, where are you from, Misha? Are you from the village near? Uh, from the village? Um, I think so. Yeah, Garden Village. I remember my friend saying. Hmm. That's quite a ways from here. Yeah, I used I... to be from Garnet Village quite a long time ago, but I now live on my own out here. It's peaceful. It does look pretty peaceful up here. Yes, it's, it's a good place to go when you don't you don't have to deal with others. I guess so. I really need to get back to my parents. They must be so worried about me. Um, Misha, if you don't mind, what exactly... You said you were in some sort of... Where exactly were you before you woke up at the on the beach? Um, some sort of... Capsule, almost. Um, yes. my parents... so, Like, were you in a building? A cave? No. I... What my parents would call a lab? Oh, dear God, no. <sighs> they really have lost it. What do you mean? Your parents, you, s an embryon and espion. Yeah. Do you know their names? Um, I think the espion was Amity and the embryon was Eclipse. And that confirms it. I'm sorry, Misha. Your parents, they don't want you anymore. They left you. And you can just see Misha's, like, almost like her ears just droop in, like, concern and sadness. And she's like, What do you mean? My parents wouldn't do this. They, they love me. Like, they, they wouldn't leave me here. They must be so worried about me. I must have... <laughs> ran away in my sleep. I really need to get back to them. And, um... Misha, listen to me very closely. Parents don't keep their children locked up in a lab. For, and furthermore, they don't give them numbers as their names. All parents do? Any parent who sh who's worth calling themselves one gives you gives their child a name in a proper in a proper room. From what you're describing, you're kept in some laboratory and experimented on. Yeah. 